friends! Today I'll be doing a quick and simple guide on how to start digital planning on your iPad. First, I'll go over the basics. Then I'll go through the essential tools to get you started with good notes. So let's dive right into it. A digital planner is an interactive PDF file where you can organize all of your tasks and notes. You import the file into a note-taking app, which allows you to write on the pages, similarly to a traditional paper planner. It's a space for both productivity and creativity, all conveniently located on your device. For digital planning, I'd recommend using any iPad that's compatible with the Apple Pencil. You definitely don't need the newest iPad with the fanciest specs to get started, especially if you intend to use your device solely for light tasks like digital planning, note-taking, and watching videos. GoodNotes is my favorite app for digital planning and note-taking. They offer a free version with three notebooks, so you can try it out before committing to the one-time purchase with unlimited features. It also includes a useful iCloud syncing feature, so you can view and edit your documents across your Apple devices. I'd recommend trying out other apps like Notability or Colinote as well. There are so many digital planners out there that it can be overwhelming to even try and pick one. But it's important to select one that suits your personal goals, whether it's a jam-packed yearly planner or a simple planner to focus on a specific area of your life, such as travel or meal planning. For absolute beginners, I'd recommend downloading a free single-page planner from my website so you can try out the different apps and figure out your planning style. You can choose a planner from the Dropbox list, then tap the download button to start the process. Then select your file from the download section and tap the share icon to import your planner into GoodNotes. Okay, so now that we've gone over the basics, it's time to start planning. In this demo, I'll be using the 2023 planner from my website, which I walked through in my previous video. By default, note-taking apps are in editing mode, which allows you to write and draw on your pages. However, to activate the hyperlinks, you'll have to switch over to read-only mode. Now you can move around your planner easily and jump from page to page. When it comes to digital planning, the pen tool is your best friend. You can use it to write, scribble, or draw whatever you want, and simply adjust the settings to get your desired look. You can choose from three different pens, change the pressure sensitivity or the point size, and the best part? unlimited color options. You can add a new color by tapping on the empty plus sign. Then you can pick from the color grid, the color wheel, or type in a custom hex code. I've added my favorite color palette hex codes on the screen to share with you all, and I hope you enjoy. To delete a color, simply tap edit, select a color, then tap remove color, and that's it. The highlighter tool is super similar to the pen tool and can add even more fun to your planner spreads. Again, I've gone ahead and shared my favorite highlighter hex codes for you all. Another related tool is the shape tool, where you can draw a loose sketch of any shape and it will automatically perfect it. For time blocking, you can turn on the fill color option, then draw rectangles in different colors to represent your various tasks for the day. The last writing tool is your text tool, which is perfect for those who don't have an Apple Pencil or simply prefer to type, whether by hand or with a keyboard. You can change the font style, size, color, or paragraph alignment, similarly to the previous tools. Also, if you have a set of specifications that you want to use continuously, you can select the favorite icon and choose Save as Default. I personally love using the scribble option, which automatically turns my handwriting into the font I've selected. You can do this too by following the instructions on the screen. Side note, I know writing on the iPad can seem quite difficult, especially for beginners, so I'd recommend trying out the zoom tool, which makes it much easier to see and write. The eraser tool is pretty straightforward and has several options for your specific needs. You can choose from the three styles, decide to erase highlighter marks only, or even clear the entire page. The lasso tool is so useful in many different scenarios. 
You can use it to easily move around text boxes, handwriting, or images, or tap on your selected object to explore the extra options. Here, you can cut, copy, or delete the object, or even resize it or change its color. The Elements tool is GoodNote's way of making the use and storage of stickers so much easier. You can choose from the super cute pre-made sticker packs, or you can import and organize your own. Simply tap on a sticker to add it to your spread and resize icon to adjust it how you'd like. Lastly, we have the photo tool, which is one of my personal favorites. You can add pictures from your gallery or files, which is such a fun way to add personality to your spreads. After adding, you can tap on the image to explore the additional options. I love the crop tool because you can do a simple rectangular crop or a freehand crop for a splash of creativity. And that sums up all the things you need to know to start digital planning on your iPad. I hope this video was helpful and encourages you to give it a try. Remember to take it slow and simple with your tasks and goals first and all the fun stuff afterwards. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe and stay tuned for more iPad content and digital planning tutorials. Thank you all so much for watching and happy planning!